in a land far, far away, in Valkhalla. Valkyrie clans were in war. Until one day, the royals of each clan decided to create a Valkyrie tournament to decide the strongest clan to rule the land. Eight clans. Jump, Earthquake, Haste, Rage, Heal, Freeze, Lightning, and Poison Clan joined the tournament. The rules were simple. Most destruction on the village wins and advances to the next round until there is one final winner. Who will it be? Give your predictions in the comments below. Let's get started. Hello Clash fans and today we have the grand final Heal Clan vs Jump Clan for first place and the ruler of Valkhalla. So let's go and see each clan's journey. We have the Heal Clan defeating the Freeze Clan and the Lightning Clan in a dominant matchup and also Jump Clan also 3 starring the Earthquake Clan and the Haste Clan to meet the heal clan in this final. So let's go ahead with the heal clan's first attack because they won the coin toss. So the heal clan is going in from the east side. They're doing the funnel with the Valkyries as well. And uh, the Barbarian King is there to tank. And here comes some clan castle troops. So it is fair game if there's clan castle troops in the base or not. Um, they just have to deal with it. But the heal clan is very dominant and the heals will keep them alive to power through and knock out the clan castle troops. The Archer Queen's coming in from the north. The Barbarian King is trying to get through to that clan castle. And we have a lot of Valkyries in different places here. We got some core Valkyries and we got some Valkyries coming from this side down to the bottom and some around the outside during the west area. So now we got the Archer Queen knocking out that gold storage. Barbarian King's going through a lot of walls just to get uh, through these defenses. These Teslas are quite troublesome. And we've got some Valkyries breaking through a lot of walls, so there's no more heal spells left. So it's all up to pretty much the remaining Valkyries, the Barbarian King and the Arch Queen to knock out the rest of the base. We have a few defenses up in the western corner. We've got the Cannon, Wizard Tower, Mortar. This could be troublesome for the Valkyrie heal clan. So here we go guys, we have a few Valkyries coming in left. As long as they get through this wall, they should be okay. But there is no metal heal spells and the Arch Queen is trapped up the top there knocking through that wall. So here we go, the Barbarian King popped his Iron Fist. Here comes the big charge for the cannon and the um, Wiz Tower there. And the Archer Queen has finally joined them, but she still has a Royal Cloak. So it looks very promising for the Heal Clan at the moment. And it looks really good, guys. It looks like the Archer Queen is helping out with that cannon. One Tesla to go, but the Archer Queen has her Royal Cloak. We'll use it and deploy some archers in the meantime to knock out the rest of the structures. The Arch Queen is going for that Tesla, I believe. No, she's going to help out with the outside first. But there is one troublesome um, Tesla left in that uh, surrounded by a wall. So they're just going to go around there, knock out these structures on the outside. Army cam to go, gold mine. And it looks like it's going to be 100% guys. So Jump Clan in the past has three starred bases as well. So it's going to be really... Really interesting to see if they can do it in the grand final. So here we go guys, let's go on to the Jump Clan attack. Alright guys, we have the Jump Clan now. They're coming from the west side, trying to be a little bit different to the Heal Clan. And the Barbarian King's coming in as well. Great funnel towards that Jump uh, jump spell. And looks like they're going to be entering the base really easily now. Uh, Arch Queen to follow and the CC Valks are coming in as well. So. Here we go guys, it looks like a very good attack, there's jump, jump spells everywhere deployed. Uh, they also have clan castle troops, so that is a very even matchup now that they both have uh, um, clan castle troops coming out of the clan castle. They've reached the core and they're about to devastate the core here. The Barbarian King popped his iron fist and the jump spells are going everywhere to give them access to the, the many compartments in the space, a lot of compartments could be troublesome for the heal clan if they versus the space. So here we go, the jump clan is coming through. The jump spells are placed very well so they can get to the multiple compartments. But Barry King is still alive on minimal health. I wonder how long he can last. Um, the Valkyries seem like they're tanking for the Barbarian King, which is not his, not their job. But the Barbarian King finally goes down and there's no more jump spells, guys. There's Arch Queen to go on that Wiz Tower. And there's some Valkyries left on the outside, so 
but the, the good thing is the Archer Queen does have her royal cloak, which is amazing. So there's an Archer Tower and Cannon left. Um, as long as the Archer Queen focuses on those defenses first, um, it'll be okay. So she's going for the gold mine because it's closest. We'll have to pop a royal cloak very soon. Oh, that was very close. Oh, why did she go for the DE drill? This could be tragic. She went for the DE drill straight away. And the Archer Tower versus the Archer Queen. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was so close. Oh my goodness, because there's only two Valkyries up the top there, and that Archer Tower was protected by walls. And oh, I don't know. I don't know if, if they could have survived that without the Archer Queen knocking out that Archer Tower. Uh, on very minimal health, so very close three star. And let's go on to the bonus round after this break. Bonus round. Here we go, guys. Now it's the decider bonus round. It's going to be a town hall ten attack for each uh, Valkyrie clan, and they don't get their clan castle troops, but they still get their five spells and their um, their thirty troops. And here we go, guys. We are going in with the jump spells. It looks like the seven golem strategy with the jump spells there, but the Valkyries going in. Some went into the center, which is amazing, but the heroes diverted to the outside, and this could be problematic. There's there's an emergency jump spell on the um, south southern east uh, entrance, and here we go. Go the Valkyries are going in. The uh, Infernos are on single target, which is awesome, and it's going to be the same for the heal clan, attacking exactly the same base, so it is fair all around. So. The Arch Queen is going around, facing off with that cannon, and then the Wiz Tower. The Barbarian King does the Iron Fist, and it looks like they're wearing thin now. They're 62%. They're going to try to get as much percentage as possible. So the Heal Clan has to work hard. And who knows, who's going to win this? It could be the Heal Clan or the Jump Clan at this stage. And the Jump Clan is doing really well. They're doing some clearance now, trying to get as much percentage as they can. It doesn't look like 100%. So it's, they're going to make the heal clan work hard for the victory or the loss. So here guys, the Arch Queen is about to get knocked out. And there we go. That was the final hopes to get more percentage. But there is a couple of archers left. They might get 74, 75%, probably 75% now. And uh, maybe even um, the gold mine as well. They could, they've got a mid in 23. So what's going to happen guys? After the jump clan has finished their attack, the heal clan will try to knock out as much percentage as they can to beat the jump clan's percentage using the exact same base. So what's going to happen at the end, they're going to do the ceremony and then we're going to go straight to voting for the next tournament. That's right guys, we're going to go and see a different tournament after this series because this is going to be the wrap for the series and you guys get to choose via voting on the comments below. I'm going to put each um, option down and you've just got to like it and comment on it and also in Twitter I'll put a voting poll up as well so you guys can vote so I'll put more details at the end but it was a valiant effort from the jump clan with 79% let's go on to the heal clan attack but here we go we got the heal clan coming in five spells also but the advantage is for the jump clan is they could jump straight over to the wall so it could be problematic for the heal clan but here we go, we've got the first heal down uh, towards that defense arch queen and we got some separate groups of uh, Valkyries going left and right. This is pretty perfect. We have to try to get some in the center though. Barbarian King is getting aimed at at the Teslas which is not good and the arch queen is slowly helping out uh, her king. So um, what's going to happen now guys? We're going to get in the corner now. We're getting in the corner of that core and the Valkyrie is coming in as well. So this is good news. The Valkyries are in the core, which is amazing. This is what you want. You knock out all those hardcore defenses like the Expo and the Teslas and the Infernos. And we got some Valkyries on the outside. This could be 100%. Oh my goodness. They're ready beaten. Oh, they're so close to beating the Jump Clan right now. And whoa, this is it. That is it, guys. The Heal Clan beat the Jump Clan. And it's just a matter of glory percentage now. And what a victory. That was a very great performance by the Heal Clan. They've got a minute 50 seconds left. And this is an amazing attack with the heroes. Oh, what a, what a performance the Heal Clan has performed this entire series. And I'm very happy to say they are our champion Valkyrie um, Clan. And going to be the ruler of Valhalla. That is the main point, guys. The ruler of Valhalla. And what's going to happen, guys, 
as I said, at the end, we're going to do a voting poll in the comments. So I'm going to put the options down of what troops I'm going to have in the next series. Um, and you guys get to smack that like button on each option that you want to see first. And then go onto Twitter and also vote on the voting poll as well. Because that will also um, in be included in the tally up. So you get, you get two votes, guys. And you get to control the series as long as you have many other people also um, voting for the next series so I'm I'm looking forward to it, it could be a packet tournament could be um, it could be a bowler tournament you know you never know guys it's all up to you and I want you guys being loyal to the series having the option to actually vote so here we go guys there's 32 30 seconds left we're just gonna see if they can do a hundred percent on this base but there's a lot of um, max walls to get through. Barbarian King is trying his hardest to get the glory of 100% here. And the Barbarians are coming through and helping his, uh, the King as well. I think there is one Valkyrie alive, which is a very awesome um, for the heal plan. 10 seconds to go. Doesn't look like it's going to be a 3 star, guys. Because, oh my goodness, there is buildings on the other side, which is overlooked. But that's okay. Looks like the Barbarian King is going through the final wall, which he doesn't make it. But that was an awesome 95% victory, which means the Heal Clan is the victors of the Valkyrie Tournament and the ruler of Valhalla. Let me know if you guys were going for the Heal Clan or the Jump Clan and who you thought would have won. And make sure you vote in the comments below which series tournament you would like to see next. And also go on my Twitter and do a double vote because I'm going to tally them all up. And then we're going to have a World Series. That's right, guys. The Valkyrie Tournament was only one of four of the series. And then we're going to have four troops do the exact same series. And it's going to be a face-off for, uh, for the World Series right at the end. Make sure you smack that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And remember, guys, stay classy.